Morning, everybody. Welcome to Webby Sports Right Up on a Friday morning in my manor in Kale, Slovakia, in sunny Tenerife with a little bit of cloud. I've got three guests here today. He's not coming on. He's coming on, but he's coming on, but he's always here. This is going to be absolutely the best start you've ever seen and the best live you've ever had in your life. Look at the eyes. Right, shout outs. We've got Lee Sobot, horse racing fancy, rugby league, rugby union, football news, Johnny Goggles boxing, Chris Todd, CD Tenerife. Uh -uh. We've got Hendon and Chatham Football Club, Cheltenham Festival, news guest, the two Kevins. What more do you want? Webby Sports Roundabouts as well. Am I back on? Ah, uh, good morning. How are you? I just thought I'd just thought I'd say hello to anybody that walks past today. There's somebody doing this with his fist. Right, listen, we've got three people here today. It's lovely, it's warm, it's 21 degrees. My pal Kevin, you're not going to see him for a bit because he was on the beer yesterday. My other pal Kevin is over there. He's going to be on in a few minutes' time. And my other pal over there, I'm not going to say who he is. I thought I was the oldest vlogger in Tenerife and he beats me by about seven years. I'm not a happy bunny today, I'm telling you. So we're going to bring him in in a minute and we're going to have a bit of fun today. I went on with Michael last night, the Edinburgh Honest Guy. Did you know some? I nearly fell asleep. I kept him going. We had a lot of views. It was fantastic. And then when I finished, he rang me, he says, Colin's been live as well. So I, I popped over to his channel and he went down all the back streets, all the back alleys. I said, you better, you better be careful down there. There's some bogey men down there, I promise you. Right. I'm in a mood. I've had Cheltenham races for three days. Today's the last one in the Opping Great. So I'll be there from 11.30 till 7 o'clock. You want to pop in there, come and have a beer and uh, try and win some money. But you ain't going to, so I won't be paying you. Right. First of all, can you stop coughing on set, please? Uh, hey, God, it's not the coughing. <laughs> it's the carrot. Yeah, right. Listen, first of all, shout outs. Now, I've got to get my phone out first. First and foremost, a big shout out to Ray Wild, Coast FM, 102.5, all across the Canaries. I went live with him a few days ago. Absolutely phenomenal. Right. Now, <clears throat> we've got some very, very new. What we're trying to do. We're trying to get across the Canaries into the bars and restaurants. I'm going to give you a big shout out on Facebook and on here on a Friday morning. Now, what uh, Foggy done, my number 99 from Leon C. He said, Webby, this is the people that's on our website now and on our YouTube, Facebook, everything. Right. Listen to this. We're going to kick off with big shout out to Marshall's Sports Bar, Las Americas, the Paradise Bar in Lanzarote, Scallywags in Torviscus, Sky Bar, Porta Colon, the Sports Bar, Coreleco in Fort Aventura, morning everybody over there, and the White Lion Sports Bar in Lanzarote, and the Sportsman in Lanzarote. Oh, we're good. Kevin's looking at me going, I've been there, I've been there, I've been there. But I'll talk to him. But yeah, you have. I can see it. So, and also there's four more people that's come on Facebook. Shane Hope. How are you, big man? Tracy Wilkie. Dot Leeds. Louis Orderson. And Paul Borson. Morning, everybody. From Webby Sports. Roundabout. It's not. It's Roundup. I've just taken a mickey. Right. What else we got? How are you? I'm good, mate. Good. Big boy. I have brought you on, yeah? I'm good. Right. The other thing is Mark Wiltshire from Cheltenham. He, he did a vlog for me a couple of days ago. Now, um, he come on, he come on again. I put, he got the kids to play Chosen Hill Rugby. Right, morning, Webby. Hope that you're having a good week. Yes. Sherdington under-12s beat Barnwood 3-1 last week. A good competitive game, despite going to go down in the first minute into the quarterfinals of the League Cup. Now, well done, Barnwood. Or well done, Sherdington under-12s. Uh, what else we got? It's quite a go there, bum, 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 into the quarterfinals of the League Cup now. Well then, lads. Um, chosen Hill Rugby under 12s drew 4 all with Spartans on Sunday. Shirlington under 12s have top of the table along Levin Lions away on Saturday. So good luck to all you rugby in the Gloucestershire area. Absolutely quality. Like and subscribe. Now, I've been told last night by Michael, mm -hmm. we need more likes. If you, if, you, if you do a like, then what happens supposedly? Then Google follows you more and they send it all around the world around the world in one of it. You know what I'm like. I'm like a dinosaur when it comes to that. But do I care? No. That's where he gets his money. That's what do you mean that's what what money have I had? Well you don't give me nothing, do you? Well. Hey, yeah, all right, we'll, we'll bring you one in a minute. Right. Let's bring him on. I've had enough. Let's bring him on. Get can we get it can we get him on? 
Kevin, how are you? I'm all right, man. Yeah. Can I just say something? Yeah, I had go some, on. I had some good remarks for last week's um, show. Kevin, if you don't know, Millsborough fan. Uh, his wife Julie back home. He leaves her for a few weeks. She's happy as Larry. She rings me every. She's a Leeds fan. He rings me every night. She says, "Webby, well, keep him there. Don't yeah, let him come there, back." Don't, let, There's my two dogs. They're very good. What are they called? They're very good. Zeus and Orion. Zeus and Orion. Love them. Yeah, they are. They're big, these, strong, and yeah. they big, strong stuffies. Yeah, they're good. Is that like your missus? Cool. Big and strong. No, no, she's not. I wouldn't dare say that. <laughs> yeah, no, mate. Uh, right, good Aiden. Hey, right. Listen, bit of football this week because I didn't do Scotch no. Corner and I didn't do. Um, the football with Terry, my number two, and Simon, my number three. Um, there was a bit of football this week. Let's get that. Well, you watched the Man City Liverpool game, didn't well, you? That's, that's, well, we yeah. watched that last Sunday. Was that a game and a half? It was a great game. Um, Liverpool were fantastic. I thought they were well, awesome. They, they were. We were talking about it, weren't we? Yeah. They were by far the better side. Yeah. Should have won. The and they should have won the game. Um, they started off a bit tentatively, but for me, they were far better than Manchester yeah. City. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Considering they had. All them young kids in. Yeah, yeah, absolutely yeah. fantastic. Well, they were superb. Yeah, they were superb. Don't worry, Liverpool. The other game, I thought, Villa, Tottenham. Obviously, fourth play fifth. But what I thought about them games, on apart from the Liverpool-Man City game, yeah. is the teams that had played on the Thursday, which yeah. was Villa, yeah. West Ham, and I can't think of the other one. Yeah. But they struggled in the first half of the game. West Ham were 2-0 down at half-time against Burnley. Brighton, Brighton Villa the Villa. same. Yeah. Brighton, they were one 0 up, but it was yeah. one goal by yeah. by Notts Forest. Yeah. They really didn't start the game that yeah. well and didn't really play the game that well because that own goal got them the one nil win. Yeah. But, but I think we had it when we were in Europe a few times. You play on Thursday, especially if you're travelling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you play on a Sunday. It's hard work for them. It didn't help with McGinn being sent off. No, it? it didn't, and it was a terrible challenge. Total four four. Chelsea beat Newcastle three two. Perhaps Newcastle's the away form. Shocking. It's awful. Shocking. Good at home. Four away. If the if this season, if their home form hadn't been what it was, yeah, yeah. they'd have been bot the bottom map. Well, I think yeah. they are bottom map. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Let's move on to the game uh, two nights ago. Luton. Luton away to Bournemouth. Watched it. You watched Three it. Three up at after. I mean, you probably wouldn't have been asleep. I was. I was asleep. You've been doing a bit of work. And um, what do you mean to? What's your mum here? Yeah, oh, I um, did a bit of work. They were 3 0 up at half time. And yeah. I, do you know? I really want them to stay up. Yeah, we all do. Because the players, the players. As a team, they play for each other. Yeah. But in the first 15 minutes of the second half, yeah. they weren't doing that. No. They stopped doing everything they've been doing yeah. in all the other games this season. Three goals in 13 minutes, 3-3, three, three, and Bournemouth won 4-3. And it could have been 5-3, yeah, or 6-3 possibly, you know. But the game, Luton, this yeah. week at home to Nottingham Forest, is absolutely yeah. massive. Well, I want Luton to beat us, Coventry, in the playoffs last year. In, in, I just want penalties. them to stay up because A, they got through in the playoff final. Yeah, yeah. They ex they were expected, and we we expect them to finish bottom. We yeah. we said that when we did our well Terry test Terry test again Terry. Okay, you know, he's in my way. Now. Terry, my number two. He said they won't get ten points, and they they've yeah, got more exactly. in already, haven't they? Absolutely, they've done fantastic. But Saturday's game at home to Notts Forest is massive. massive. If they don't win, not yeah. Forest then go six points ahead of them. Yeah. With only ten games left, yeah, and it'll probably be hard work then, you know. Well, but your boys, your boys, big Birmingham three, City, three nil. games and three wins in six days. Yeah, you know, unbelievable. The other game the other night was I watched it. Four. It was poor. Four. Fantastic goal we scored from twenty-five yards to go one nil up. Yeah. But Birmingham. Yeah. Were poor. They they're in a mountain. They've had one. They're in a mountain people. of trouble, you know. They were there. There. They're in a mountain oh, mountain of, mountain of trouble. New owners as well. Um. Down the, down the UPR, yeah. For me, I look at the bottom now, and it's probably Sheffield Wednesday, QPR. Well, Sheffield Wednesday got Ipswich tomorrow. Yeah, they have, so they won't expect to get much no, from that. No, I wouldn't have thought so. Um, I thought maybe last Ipswich month. Ipswich is still doing it. Lost 3-2 yeah. at Cardiff last yeah, week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two goals, 92nd and, and yeah. 100th minute. Yeah. Things that they've done to other teams during yeah, yeah. the season. But I okay. hope they get in the top four, and I think they will. All right, before we go any further, let's go right. back to uh, the main man. Timothy living with their mess in Tenerife. He's doing all the paperwork and all the bits and pieces, logistics and whatever. How many viewers are on number one? And we got any comments, um, Tim? We've got 48 people watching. <coughs> Everyone's just saying good morning. <laughs> I think your voice again. Yeah, it's your voice again, isn't it? I think people, because you haven't got a microphone, right? Eh? Okay. Microphone on. Yeah, go on. If you can. One or two complaints last week. Can you hear me now, mother? Oh, that's way too loud. Hang on, let's do this. 
So yeah, we got uh, <clears throat> It's Craig, Mark LSC, Ian Owl, It's Craig, Eugene McGeever, Trisha Slater, Everton Matthews, Ian Owl, Edinburgh on his guys on. Michael. And Foggy. I thought you'd just come on. You missed the first five minutes. <laughs> but you'll be slapping me when you come over. Yeah. Go on. That's it. And Foggy. And Foggy. Just coming. Good Who's day. Foggy? Never heard of him. Top is man. That, Top man. That, get, Don't you say that. Is that the one that works in the, works in the Oakwood seven days a week? Says he's always knocking the women's back doors in, doing the, the double glazing. Get out of it. Oh. Oh. That's what he says. That's what they do. Oh. They do the back doors, don't they? Oh. Does the double glazing. It's not copyright. That's what it is, isn't it? I'm just, okay. I'm just saying a fact. Okay, man. All right. He, he tells his missus. You're right, Foggy. Foggy, you're a top fella, mate. Top, top fella. Oh, we're in there now, are we? I don't know. Listen, I don't know. He goes, goes up there, go up there, up there, down there. They all look the same to me, don't they? Um, a bit more football. Right. What about uh, Wolves commentary tomorrow? FA Cup quarterfinals. My I, boys. I think you've got every chance. Yeah. It's probably the one team you would want to play against. Yeah. Wolves are either very good. Yeah, or very bad. Or they can be very, I wouldn't have said bad, but they can be very average. And for me, if you can't catch them on an average day, yeah, and you play well, yeah, I think you can get through. Yeah, but we discussed this last week, and I said to you, would you check semi-final or the sixth place? And you, you really were going towards the semi-final, weren't you? Yeah. And I asked no shared shared Bob last night. Yeah. And he he said he'd rather have sixth, like, you it's know, a, it's a so, tough one, isn't it? Yeah, it's over there. Get one. get the money and think. It's still gonna happen this year, isn't it? Right, uh, listen. Well, I think you might do it. Like, uh, Kev, you want you ready for Tottenham? Or are you still you still working on your phone? Right, hey, you ready? Right, we're gonna we're gonna change seats for two minutes. Okay. We've got a bit of football. Don't go. Yeah, listen. Just want to say, Kev, you're back on in a couple of minutes. Okay, man. We've got a very very special guest coming on, and it's not Tenerife Tez. Do you know something? I was walk I was walk I was walking down this morning, and I thought, right, I'm walking down the path. Of walk in front of the camera, Te uh, Kev. Thanks, pal. And I said to myself, I think I'm the oldest vlogger okay. in Tenerife. I know I am. Yeah. I turned up, Tenerife Tez is here. I says, how old are you? He says, 68. I says, you're having a laugh, ain't you? So my face dropped, my teeth dropped, and my jaw. Have you got him on? Don't, don't get it. Not eh? He's not on yet. Good. I want to change that shirt over. Um, <laughs> and uh, I'm younger than him, so I'm not the oldest. Listen, a very special guest. I know, I'm not trying to make him that big, because he is, isn't he? He's that tall, but he's that big, and he? He's he, one of the best, if not the best, vlogger that I've met since I've been over here, all right? I'm not licking or anything else. He is a top fella, a very nice fella. He's from Scotland. He could talk football, golf. I think that's it, isn't it? Right. Yeah, that's that. Right, let's, let's get him on. It is Kevin the Scotsman, all the way from... Paisley, come push you, push you. How are you, big man? Not bad. Not too you? bad. Yeah, yeah, we're we looking. Is it in that one? He's that looking at that one. Let's have a look. Yeah. Liverpool shirt. Only because they won again last night. So you put your shirt on. Maybe they're always winning. Could be that every week. A Scotsman supporting Liverpool, Kev. <laughs> Unbelievable. You, that's what you say, isn't it? Oh, don't say it. So listen, you're over here for um, a few days. You've been with your family. Yeah. You popped into the offing grapes to see me on Wednesday. Got your table. Had a couple of bets, and I've got twenty euros for you. Remember before Thanks. before I go. Thanks. Okay. Yeah. I want to. I want to say that on air, so I don't forget to give it him. Um, we've had a good time. Done a fair few vlogs already. Yeah. Where have you been? Where have you been? Uh, I've been in Los Cristianos, Las Americas a wee bit. I was in a decade uh, with yourself the other day briefly. Yeah. Like in an afternoon, and then went back to Los Cris. Uh, so just really been enjoying kind of wee break, doing some vlogs. Taking it pretty easy, really, compared to normal. I'd normally do a lot more videos, so this has been a bit of a mix yeah. of a holiday and doing videos. So we'll see how we go in the next few days. And you've met you met Colin. Col I met, met Colin yesterday, yeah. You were sat sat with him. Uh, yeah, oh, I met him the night before as well in a pub actually. Okay. And then I met him yesterday in another bar. Yeah. Um, in Lost Chris, we've done a wee video together. That be on. He done a ask me anything. Yeah. What you've done as well. Colin's just come on. Oh, do you want? Morning, Colin. Col hey, see, I talk to the devil, and he owns a beer, don't they? Hey, oh, he, oh, he's that. He did a did a question air distribution, did he? Done it, yeah. Done a question. Uh, ask me anything. So that one, his channel later on today or tomorrow, I think. Sorry, Carly, gave him the game away. Oh yeah, yeah. Did he ask you who was your favourite sports presenter in Tenerife? Think about it. He he, did, he asked me who my favourite vlogger was <laughs> in Tenerife. 
Uh, and, I, and I gave a diplomatic answer, says I like them all. I says I can't give you a favourite. No I can't, way. I can't believe all these people give diplomatic answers. Me, straight in. If I don't like you, I don't like you. I like Tenerife Tez now, I met him again. He ain't a bad, he ain't a bad lad. <laughs> hey, I'll just tell the truth, but he ain't a bad lad. Uh, right, bit of football, Liverpool last night. It doesn't matter how old he is, it's how many pubs he's had. It's how many pubs he's had. Well, he's never going to have as many as me. People want me to get more, but it ain't going to happen. I'm too old in a tooth for that. Liverpool spot a prag last night. What happened there? You know, the game was done maybe, wasn't it? The first leg, the game was over after the first leg. So I, I, I've got to be honest, I had virtually no interest in the game. I think you should have played the absolute youth team in that game. Yeah. I was surprised to see there were some players playing that might play on Sunday. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I mean, we'll see who they get in the next round. It'll be interesting. I'd like to see Liverpool against Rangers. A kind of Scottish and English. Yeah, you know, yeah. Draw today, hey, is it? The draw, 11 o'clock in it, Kev. Yeah, 11 o'clock in one yeah. of you. So it'll be interesting if we get by a Leverkusen. Um, because Rangers lost uh, to Benfica yeah, 1-0, didn't they? they get beat off Benfica 1-0. I think Rangers have been doing pretty well in Europe recently, but yeah. being realistic, where the Scottish League is just now, Celtic and Rangers I don't think are that great just now. No. I don't think they would be able to compete at the later stages of that competition. If no. you beat Liverpool or by a Leverkusen, I don't think they would have competed. Yeah, being honest with you. And also in the Europa, Europa Cup, West Ham took on Freedom of Germany, beat them 5 0. And uh, yes, Kev? Gordon and were in there last night. Sean was in it. Yeah, I saw Sean yesterday. Yeah, they won they won five 0 They they won they won quite easy, didn't they? That's for sure. Um Scottish Cup draw last week. Luckily, Rangers and Celtic were drawn uh, away from each other. Celtic boys have got Aberdeen um at Hampden Park on the 20th or 21st of April. You can't see anything further than the Celtic win, can you? Not really, but they, they have been toiling recently, Celtic. Celtic. Celtic have not been playing great recently. And two of their best players are out just now. Callum McGregor, yeah. Carter Vickers. Yeah. Um, the boy midfield, Hathati, has been out for months as well. So Celtic, are, I would say, the weakest I've seen in a long time. Yeah. Aberdeen, but, have been really poor this season. I mean, St Mum. I've beat them three times, I think. So, they've really been struggling. That's your mob, isn't it? Yeah. That's your team. So, they've been struggling. Um, Neil Warnock's just quit. Yeah. Bizarrely, won a game at last and then yeah. just left. So, they're waiting on a new manager coming in. They're the team, but on their day, they could turn up and, you know, put in a performance. But I would definitely say everything is going to look towards a Rangers-Celtic final. Yeah. Rangers have got hearts. Hearts are pretty average. They'll finish third easily. They've got Shanklin scoring a lot of goals. But well, Rangers beat them 5 0 a couple of weeks ago, didn't they? Yeah. That, that, stuff in. that was at Ibrox, so Hearts would maybe a better chance at Hamden. But yeah, yeah. I, I mean, the, the bookies would basically be saying it's going to be Rangers Celtic the final, and it probably will be. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, before we go any further, I think what we'll do is I've got, listen, I've got lots of sports to talk about today, and I know we can just just rabble on for like two, three, four hours. Uh, I want to bring one or two of the videos in. Um, I think Johnny Goggles, uh, my roving reporter on the boxing, I must admit, I did see the uh, the two fights last week. Um, Parker, I fell asleep for two rounds, woke up, then I watched Anthony Joshua. Absolutely on the money. So I think we'll let uh, Johnny Goggles give us the latest on Webby's roving reporter. Boxing, take it away, please, Johnny. Hello everyone, it's me Johnny Goggles and I'm back again for another Webby's Boxing Roundup. Now last Friday we had Anthony Joshua versus Francis Ngannou. What a fight. Very short fight. We all had inklings what was going to happen or what could happen, shall I say. And AJ, oh, what a punch. After having Ngannou down on the floor twice, once in the first round. A lovely right hand going in between and Garnu's guard sent him on the floor. Devastating punch. And I've got to say it was probably one of the best punches I've seen in a long time. Um, and that was a brilliant, brilliant show for him. Uh, he needed to do it. He needed it. And now all week I've been hearing people saying AJ's gonna do Fury, AJ's gonna beat Fury, if Fury comes through Usyk, and that's what I love about heavyweight boxing. Um the comparisons and the competition. It's, it's ignited British box heavyweight boxing again, which is brilliant because we've got two of the best heavyweights, two of the best heavyweights, and we need them to fight. So let's hope 
Let's really hope that Usyk, sorry, Fury can go for Usyk twice because it's a two-fight deal. And then he can uh, take on AJ and we can have it. Um, and talking about the heavyweight division and how it throws these little things at us. Joseph Parker versus Zingy Zhang. Parker going the distance after going hitting the canvas. Coming back to get the win on points. And amazing. We saw what he'd done to Deontay Wilder. And he's, I really like Joseph Parker. I love his energy and his heart. And uh, Zili Zhang is a brilliant boxer. And I'm sure he'll bounce back and come back. Um, and it leads us to this weekend's boxing. On Saturday on TNT, we have on the undercards of the Heaney Pools bout, we've got Joseph Parker. Sorry, we haven't got Joseph Parker. We've got Joe Joyce. Joe Joyce versus Cash Alley. Now, Joe Joyce is his first bout back after the Zili Sang bouts. And he needs to send a message. And this is how crazy heavyweight boxing is. Because Joe Joyce beat Joseph Parker. Zili Zhang beat Joe Joyce twice. And Joseph Parker. That's why you can't make comparisons in heavyweight boxing. This is what happens with heavyweight boxing. It's one punch and it's on the night. And so Joseph pa Joe Joyce needs to come back and have the, the victory. And let's see. I'll be interested to see how he comes back. On the undercard, we've got Dennis McCann as well. We've got Liam Davis. We, it's a nice little card on TNT Sports on Saturday after, evening. So I'm looking forward to it. So that's me for this week. I'll be back next week for more boxing news and fight coverage. And don't forget. If you like what you see and like what you hear, please like and subscribe to Webby's Sports Roundup. And it's free. Cheers, Johnny Goggles. Absolutely superb summary, that's for sure. Before we go on to Rugby League, um, just thought I'd ask um, Kevin the Scotsman. Obviously, you're not a massive boxing fan. Um, did you see the fight last week? What just you summarise it yourself? Yeah, I seen all the knockouts and everything like that. I just think, okay, Joshua did look good, but he's fighting a guy who's had what like, two boxing fights and he got totally outboxed by Usyk twice. Yeah. Um so I, I do laugh when I see Eddie Hearn try to try to obviously big it up saying he's the baddest man on the planet. Of course. He's now the best heavyweight. And I'm just thinking, wait a minute, he's He's already been beat twice off the guy who's got the belts. Yeah. Fury obviously is in the frame of mind where he doesn't really seem to bother anymore. He's not treating it seriously. So until yeah. he actually beats somebody like Fury or Yusuf, I don't think. No. Can, I, I think it's hard when you get these sports combining. Yeah. It's hard to get an accurate idea of how it's going to go. You're but right. I think, as Kevin was saying, in the last one, Fury did not take it seriously at all. Never trained for it. He was well out of shape and it showed in the fight. Yeah. So. Yeah, as I said, I've kind of lost interest in boxing over the recent years. I think. Yeah, I know. I, think it's I know. A bit of a farce. As you say, it's, it's it's just a big money spinner. But I thought Joshua was absolutely different ball game last week. It's the probably the best shape and the best I've seen him ever ever fight. All right, he wasn't up against uh, your Fury or Yusi, but whoever wins that fight, supposedly in a few months' time, then they're looking at the two um, fighters fighting for who wants to be number one in the world. Full stop. OK, Kev, thanks for that, uh, big man. Now, a bit of, bit of rugby league uh, news. The Betfred Championship kicked off again last week. Saw so Castleford lose it on to Huddersfield Tigers by 50 points to eight. Lee lost it on to Leeds Rhinos, 22-16. My boy St. Helens had a player sent off Percival um, in the second half. And they, they were second last year behind Wigan. They lost it on to Salford, 24-20. London Broncos took on Wigan, the champions, and lost 20. 22 to 60 and the Catalans 26 at home to Hull. I think you'll see the table up there in the top left hand corner. So there's more obviously this weekend. Um, I think what we'll do now, I think, should we get CD Tenerife man on um, Timothy? Um, they're, they're on a bit of a downer and, and I think you'll find it with um, Chris Todd uh, this week. It's usually a two or three minute vlog, but it's only one minute and a few seconds, so they're not going to be in the playoffs. So I think what we'll do, let's get him over the eight and over the way, and we're looking for 24 25 seasons. So, Chris Todd, the general, take it away, my Robin reporter for CD Tenerife.
Hello everyone, welcome to Webby Sports Roundup and uh, the season is basically over now for CD Tenerife Very, I'm still fuming now from last Sunday at 71 minutes we looked good, we were winning 2-1 the brilliant Luis Cruz again making both goals and uh, we were looking at maybe getting to, into the playoffs and dreaming of of that but then a, a nine minute spell of pure I don't know what to say about it anyway we lost 4-2 in the end and manager Gary Tanner will be leaving uh, at the end of the season that's been almost 100% com confirmed but he will be. He does. I don't think he wants to stay, and we certainly don't want him. Good luck to him in the future. I've heard there's a few jobs going. JD Sports apparently are looking for people at Cyan Mall in the new shop there. Uh, we and we move on. We start planning for next season now. Uh, we're playing Wesca on Saturday at half past five. Basically, we're not going up. We're not going down. It's mid-table obscurity once again, and that's it. What can you do? Okay. Thanks a lot. Cheers, Toddy. Um, I think all the viewers that's um, listening and watching that uh, you can see his face was down. Um, he was also down. The reason why, because he sent me a video last night um, where he lives up the mountains that uh, there was um, a school bus that fell over a cliff. Um, but there was no children on board. I don't know if it was just a driver. I haven't found that out yet. So he, w he was a little bit down. So that's the reason why it was only a very, very short one. So I will check that out a little bit later on. So fingers crossed there was no injuries and so forth. But that was the general CD, Amad, CD Tenerife of the Amada, sir. Looks like we're going to be um, new manager and looking for season 2024, 20, 2025. I think, uh, well, I'll say, is there any comments or any people coming in? How many we've got there? people. Loads, okay. Let's, right, Kev, get ready for them. Let's see what we got. All right, let's go, first of all, get you both on. And we have the super chat from Andrew Horseman. Cheers, Andrew. Thank you very much indeed. And uh, Kenneth German's on, Cole's Place. He's chatting amongst themselves. Uh, out and about with Ash has arrived. Morning, Ash. Morning, gents. Oh, Ash. I'm in and out this morning. Have a great one. Tough one again at Cheltenham. Yep. And then he's given us some tips, which I'll put up later. Okay. Uh, my selections for the day, the tipping competition. I'm in. Everyone's trying easy races. Yeah, for sure. Got, uh, 50 people watching. Lovely. There's another 50 to make 100. But uh, there we go. Well, the views have come later on, obviously, because a lot of people at work. So that's what it's all about, isn't it? Okay. Um, I think what we'll do, we'll um, go with Rugby Union, I think, uh, Timothy. Okay. Six Nations. Big Kev knows a little bit about Rugby Union, going from Scotland after beating England in the Calcutta Cup. Ah. Oh. Have you been to uh, Murrayfield? I've not been to Murrayfield. My daughter's been quite a few times. Yeah. Um, I love the Six Nations, love the, the Rugby World Cup. Apart yeah. from that, I don't really take much interest, but... Six Nations, I mean, uh, yeah, the World Cup. I love the World Cup. It's fantastic, isn't it? Yeah. It's absolutely well. It's the big boys against the big boys, and it's just pro it's men, isn't it? They say egg chasers. When the, I'm a Gloucester boy, and they say and that really, really gets to me, egg chasers. I said, you stand in front of a two, a two foot four referee, and he says you're going to go. You go. When you win these referees in the football matches, and there's a oh penalty, he handed it, he's down there and whatever, and you got ten muppets hanging around him trying to get yeah. players sent off in yellow cards. It's, get a life, you lot. Get a life. The Morning. The respect for referees is completely different. Yeah, it's a different ball game. Right, we're off to the Six Nations, where Kevin knows a little bit about. Let's have a look at last week's fixtures. Now, the big one was Italy. They've never won a Six Nations game in 11 years of history. They took on the Scots. Sorry, Kev, to bring this up first. And they beat you by 31 points to 29. Absolute quality as far as we're concerned, which is great to see the Six Nations beating another home country. Mm -hmm. I'm ashamed it was Scotland. Did you watch any of it? Yes, I did. Um, Scotland in the second half was just terrible. Um, Italy, the packed ground, but really good support. In a way, it's, it's kind of typical Scotland. They beat, they beat England. Yeah. 
and then, oh, uh, and, that, and then sorry, sorry, drop oh, that one in. Oh, that 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 was the easy game. Where we, <laughs> and then, then we went away to Italy, and uh, yeah, I've been watching Italy recently in the Six Nations, and I'm thinking they're going, they're due a big win. They're going to yeah. beat somebody. They've been very close to beating France. Yeah, they have. Yeah, as well. So I, I just I think just Scotland lacked that final bit. Yeah, They've just lost a few games that they should have won. Um, but in a way, it's kind of nice to see the. Italy winning the game because at times you think why are they in the Six Nations and yeah, never winning sure. any games yeah for sure and they've been talking about relegation now and bringing other teams in who are yeah. coming up yeah yeah Portugal and other teams coming up yeah so uh, a bad result I mean mathematically I think Scotland in theory are still in with a chance next week but it'll end up probably with Ireland will win it England will still in it mathematically as well aren't they well again well, England took on uh, the champions Ireland and I think there should have been a foregone conclusion that we were going to lose that to Ireland that's a big shot but, oh, a massive shot 23 points to 22 he made a few changes to Borthwick and um, Smith a drop goal in the 81st minute I mean they went ballistic I think we all did in the pub uh, it's just a fantastic win but England have been shocking it's just same as Wales they're all in a resurgence changing players in one of you but a great win and it, it yeah. proves that on the day anybody can be anybody and it's getting that league a lot closer yeah. and a lot tighter uh, but two weeks ago as far as we were concerned Ireland were going to be first France second England Scotland third probably or one of you but now it's all chopped and changed again and looks yeah. as if Wales are going to get the uh, wooden spoon definitely well absolutely fantastic but apart from the Six Nations um, I think if you've got the Six Nations table up on there you're just right in between us, okay. So if you if you check it out, um, I still think there's a couple of chances of, um, again, Wales getting the uh, wooden spoon, and they used to have a fantastic uh, team, didn't they? Did International that, did that with Barry John Edwards and one of you. What's all gone wrong? I don't know. It really was a fantastic nation uh, for rugby union. Just moving on quickly. Um, my boys Gloucester at King's Home tonight. It is the Premiership Rugby Cup final. All the teams play each other. Gloucester in the final. My pal Steve's going from Gloucester. Home to Leicester, 7.45 kickoff. If I'm home, I will be watching it with me din-dins on the table after being hopping grapes all day today. Um, and I think we've got a great chance. And King's Home in Gloucester have been voted over the last few years number one ground and number one team. The atmosphere, the food, it's just phenomenal. So all I'm going to say is King's Home, chain ring whites, bring that cut back, please, boys. Right, and next week, I'll forget, this week, tomorrow and Sunday, we've got Wales, Italy, 2.15, Ireland, Scotland, 4.45, and England tomorrow night. That's the 8 o'clock game, France against England. What a time to have a game, 8 o'clock on a, on a Saturday night. Uh, right, any messages for anybody uh, on, on? Ray Duffy, good morning, Ray Mondo. How's Madge? Is he answering? Yes, yes. All right, that's done that, that's done that. Uh, we've got some favourites as well. So we've got Mark Wiltshire, morning boys, off to Swindon Super Marine versus Hendon tomorrow. Oh, are you off to that one? We'll talk about that in a couple of minutes' time. Uh, to Matthews, my son-in-law, Scott, can you support Spurs? A big Tottenham fan. Who's, I don't know who's Tottenham got. Who's Tottenham got this week, Kev? Any idea? Can't, no, no, I, I can't think of it. I haven't checked this week's uh, fixtures. Yeah, FA Cup. Busy uh, FA Cup. So the prop and Carl says um, when he interviewed Kevin, he wasn't keen on that webby bloke, and so he had to edit it all out. <laughs> Colin, let me tell you something. Don't come and see me, hey. Let me tell you something, hey. This is my power now. You can have him. I don't give a damn, do I? On Webby Sports Roundup, son. Jay McComb says uh, Rangers were never going to win the Europa League. Just concentrate on the league and uh, the Scottish Cup now. Yeah, you're probably right there, but it would have been nice to see Rangers uh, against Liverpool in the final. And Terry, my number two, did say where the... And I can't think where the final was going to be at. Dublin. Dublin, that's right, Dublin. Oh, that would have been a different ball game, I might, wouldn't it? I might go for a day. Yeah? Or if I get there. If, if they get there. Yeah, that would have been something else, Dublin. That, they would have just... Oh, institutions, didn't they? Two of them. That was just, they were just taken over. <laughs> just to join but did kevin get a place to stay uh, not yet that's we're still looking at options for tonight um next two nights are salty but tonight not yet it's after this we're going to book somewhere i just said don't go too far because i got to give you a i got to give you a lift a lift to where you're going and i'm <laughs> yeah. and i'm working the opping grapes this afternoon that's for sure just, just 
something on. I don't know whether it's, uh, um, I don't know who this guy is, unfortunately, but uh, JPR Williams, do you think about that? JPR Williams, yeah. great rugby Robert player, Boyle. one with the long Rest hair. Peace. Fantastic, eh? Rest in peace, he said. Has he just died? I've, when was that? I, 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 I haven't seen that. What this? Oh, thank, thanks, pal. Thanks. So was that today? Oh, I, no, I haven't seen that. I have. Rest in peace, JPR Williams. Absolutely superb. Spurs have got to pull him away. Spurs have got oh, to pull him. Yes, they have. I remember looking thank on the. Uh, no, no, I'm looking on the sheets. Um, bit of golf. Now I know you like you like a bit of golf. Now I am into it, but not as much. And I didn't put it on my um, on my list today. But you said there was uh, one or two things happening. So give us your intake on the golf at the moment, please, Kevin. I think golf at the moment. We're talking about heavyweight boxing earlier on. A lot of big, a lot of fans have lost interest in some of the golf because of the split between Live Golf and the PGA Tour. Yeah. Um, big big players leaving like Ram, obviously Kopka and stuff like that. Some players are missing from the Players Championship, which is like the fifth major. Yeah. And they need to sort it all out. Um, when it comes to the Masters and the Majors, all the big players are going to be there because they've got exemptions for a few years. But I think golf has just got to sort it out. Everybody who's took the money and just went to the Saudi back live golf, yeah, they're just playing now for fun. It's not a serious tournament. Three rounds, no cut. Um, but if somebody's offering you tens of millions, no. hundreds of millions, yeah. That's that's that is what's happened, but they're going to have to sort it out at one point. There's only so much you can spend, though, Kevin. There. Yeah, that's I mean, it. you know, if if somebody put twenty million in my account, or they put fifteen million in my account, you can't spend that other five anyway. So unless you pass on a charity and whatever, so you know, it's yeah. greed. You can't enjoy it. You you played golf or football to enjoy, as I do doing my show today. Um, but I wish I did got fifteen million. That's for sure. But I do it so I enjoy it. Not yeah. No, it's just taking over money, isn't it? Yeah, I think the players who have took the money. The, the the worst ones are the ones who say we're going to go and grow the game and yeah. we're going to go and play team golf. They're just lying. Yeah, they are blatantly just lying. You should just basically outright say I'm going for the money. I've retired from competitive golf. I'm now yeah. playing live golf. And it's just exhibition stuff, and I'll still play in the majors if I qualify. Yeah. But yeah, golf has kind of lost its way a wee bit. Hopefully, it will resolve itself. But I don't know how they're going to merge it to, because I love golf. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I agree. Okay. I'll tell you what we do. Um. We'll have Cheltenham right at the end. Let's have a little bit of Lee Sobot. Uh, Lee Sobot, my um, roving reporter. He works for the Yorkshire Evening Post. Big Leeds United fan, so he follows them as a reporter home and away. And he's been doing, give it, well, giving us the his own fact, not tips, his own facts. Is every Saturday. And when Ash came on a couple of weeks ago, lovely fellow, Ash lives in Newmarket. He uh, worked all the ins and outs. And uh, up to about three weeks ago, if you put a five or a ten or a same stake on every horse that we were given, then you'd be up about, it was about 11, about between 9, 10, 11%, which is fantastic. And it's a bit of fun, as you say. Now, Ash has got one or two, which we'll give in a minute. But I got, um, what we're talking now, we, well, we won't do Cheltenham. I'll do it in a minute. I've got one just come through now from um, yesterday, uh, one of my um, friend's jockey pals from the north, okay? Massive jockey. Um, and he's given us a, a little fancy for today. So I'll put that in a couple of minutes time. But first and foremost, We'll go to Lee Sober and um, let's see what he's given today. Um, for what well, for tomorrow? Today for tomorrow, uh, please, Tim. Let's have a look. Let's go, Lee. The two twenty-five new top sitter. That's right. Called Lord Snooty. Uh, two twenty-five says about eleven or two. Second favourite ran a blinder last time out when just failing to beat the smart Cuthbert Dibble who himself ran an excellent third in the Coral Cup at Cheltenham Festival. Uh, Lord Snooty was fancying himself for the Coral Cup, but didn't get in and should have an excellent chance in this lesser contest. Also, St. Davey, who won for the for us the other week, is in the obvious danger and warrants a saver at 11-2. to two. OK, so if they're both 11-2, to two, do a couple each ways. Don't go mad. Just use your savvy. Uh, might just have too much weight, but back both, and hopefully one will oblige. Lord Snooty, the main one. Now, as I always say, don't forget, in gambling, 
if you're under 18, please don't bet. Don't even go in the bookies. If your head's up there, you're drunk, don't gamble, please. Because the point is in question, all you're going to do is give it to the bookie. The bookie's going to win. Normal, over the year, they win about 10, 11% net of the take-ins. So if you're in cloud nine and you're not in the right place, don't go and gamble and don't chase your money. Just go, have a bit of fun, enjoy yourself and watch the racing. I will be, as you know, hopping grapes today as I have done uh, all week from 12 o'clock onwards. Come and have a look. Come and say hello. We had one, we had one or two people come and say hello yesterday, which was very, very nice. I'd come a bit of fun. It's in Porto Cologne, upstairs. Come and say hello to the gang. Okay? So that's the racing from Lee Sober. Cheers, Lee. You have a great day today and a great tomorrow. Uh, before we go on to Cheltenham, Kevin knows a bit about Cheltenham. I think, is there any chance of the three of us can, or not? Yeah, I can, yeah. Yeah? Kev, do you want to come on over a bit? Let's, let's, get, let's get our Kev over. So what, what do you reckon? But before we start, um, I want to introduce you just for a couple of seconds. I didn't know he was coming. Um, another vlogger who is the oldest vlogger yes, in Tenerife. And he's upset me, to be honest with you. <laughs> so I want come on round, Tess. And come and stand behind us. Hey, can you stand here? Hey. I'm going to have to say. Tess, sit there. Two seconds, Tess. Come on. Let's get him on for him before we start uh, before we start this, this sport. Out of the blue, this is. A really nice surprise for me. Um, I didn't think he'd like me telling the truth, but um, uh, but do I care? No. But he likes me now. I'm sure he does. Um, and I'm I'm disappointed because he's older than me. Well, right, because he looks older and he is older, isn't he? 68. I'm 67 in August. Tell him, Tess, how are you? I'm fine. How are you? Fantastic. It's nice to thank. Nice for you to come onto the show. Thanks for having me, young, the, young man. You're more, you're, young, <laughs> I love it. See, I love I love him already. <laughs> now, listen, you're a vlogger. Um, and I, I do watch you, I must admit. Uh, when I saw you a few months ago, and I thought, oh my god, who's that? There's another one coming through. But you've got better and better. I'm getting worse and worse. <laughs> and, and I do watch you now, to tell you the truth. There's only one or two vloggers I do watch. Um, just give a bit of information of what your name is, what your vlog uh, subscription is, and what you do in Tenerife. Okay, uh, I'm Tenerife Tez. I uh, do all the vlogs in and around Tenerife, touristy type regions, some hotels and apartments. Currently got about five and a half thousand subscribers and it's growing. I enjoy what I do. I do it as an hobby, not necessarily to get paid. And uh, I enjoy it. Where'd you come where'd you come from? Where's your hometown? Uh nearest town, Chesterfield. Oh Chesterfield. In Derbyshire. Yeah, my pal lives in Yes. Clay Cross. My pal lives in Clay Cross. Uh I'm about two miles from Clay Cross. Got you, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know I know that very well. So how long have you been doing uh, the vlogging? Uh, it's getting on for two years. Two yeah. years now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've done well to get five and a half or whatever, haven't you? Thousand. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Do you come over very often? Uh, quite often, six or seven times a year. Six, seven times a year. Yeah. yeah. So obviously you retired like me. Uh, okay. Been, been retired a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. There you go. So what? What were you into? Uh, what What was your business and work? Uh, basically, a motor trade mechanic. A me mechanic. Yeah. 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 Okay. But I've also done other things like a call centre manager and I think the career path just, but it was a uh, glass replacement. So yeah. it's still motor trade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, Super. Uh, so to subscribe to your channel, it is just Tenerife Tez. Tenerife Tez. Tenerife Ted. Tez. T-E-Z. If you're not subscribed to him, get onto it straight away. Yeah. Do some likes and some comments and uh, we'll get him on the chat again with another day. Yeah, that's Tess, happy. cheers big man. Thank Thanks you. very much for coming on. Thank Pleasure. you very much. Pleasure. Right, uh, I got um, got my pal Kevin on at the borough, and we're going to sit. Um, we're going to sit. Uh, Kevin the Scotsman's back down. Don't ask me what we're going to talk about. We're, we're getting through everything. I got to. I got to go through my list. What's a What's a time um, logistics manager? Quarter past. Quarter past. So we've got another quarter of an hour. Another quarter of an hour. Let's go through my list. Anybody? Um, any comments or anybody new on or what have you? Uh, I was going to do the, the horse racing one from Ash, but you're going to do that later, right? Uh, Ray says, Terry's got a spare room. Kevin, two euros a night. <laughs> two euros says, a night. Long in half an hour's time. Yeah. Darren says, well said, Webby. I don't know what that was about, though. Um, Michael from Edinburgh is saying 160 euros is the cheapest to stay in Tenerife tonight. That's shocking. Very, very high prices. Three bets each way. Fingers crossed. Yeah, good luck. And uh, hair dye salesman says Lester Banks. That's not very nice. It's okay. <laughs> Does he know you? Oh, what? 
what, what I say is it's still growing though. Yeah, no, listen, yeah, my, no, my, I thought it was a wig. Mine, mine, mine was growing this morning, I'll tell you. I, see, how wrong you can I like to have it nice, <laughs> I like to have it nice and clean. Um, from Bally San Lorenzo just arrived. Oh, morning, Adam, big Coventry fan. PUSB for tomorrow, my son, absolutely. I'm looking forward to it, and I'll be like that, watching it on my big TV. Right, we've done that, we've done that, we've done. I'll tell you what we'll do, a little bit more foot, footy, Chatham Town, um, and Chatham Town and Hendon Football Club, because we missed it last week for various reasons. You forgot. I forgot. <laughs> that was a, Kevin, I'll tell you what, I don't know why I brought you back on. I was, I was with... I did, I did, did I? All right, right. What we're going to do, Chatham Town and Hendon Football Club, first and foremost. And the reason why I follow two non-league clubs, just to change it back, not everybody follows Premiership, Championship, 1-2, Scottish and what have you. Right. Hendon Football Club, good friend of mine, uh, Ian Allison, as we all know, ex-Arsenal, scored goals against Liverpool, Tottenham and so on and so forth. His son, Lee, is the manager there, Denny Hendon, Okay. And the general manager is his dad. So he's there just three days a week, helps him out, and they do superb. They're halfway in the South Isthmian League. Now, last week, uh, they had a game in midweek, and it was waterlogged. Uh, so that's what happened on Tuesday. And then they play Ch They play this weekend. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Scholing, for as it ended, it was on Tuesday, was postponed because of waterlogged pitch. And they got Super Marine, uh, Swindon Super Marine, against Hendon. That's 3 p.m. tomorrow. Uh, 16th, playing 12th, and Mark Wiltshire said he's off there to watch them. So, hope you have a cracking game. And listen, Mark, if you have a chance to go and see Ian, all right, Alison, just pop to the side of him, see him. Say, listen, I'll make sure Webby, and he will love it. So, please do. I'm not going to get you in for free, but I probably could do, actually. I don't know what he's going to charge you. Right, so that's end of football club tomorrow. Right, let's go to Chatham. Listen, this is a big one. Chatham took on Ashford in the Allen Turvey Trophy semi-final, beaten by four goals to two. And then last week, they beat Concord Rangers 2-1. And this week, they're away to Hastings. Hastings are eighth and Chatham a second. Hornchurch, top of the table, nine points clear, and they got three games in hand. This week, right, this week, Hopping Grapes, who did I meet? Have you got the photo up? Get them up. Photos up. Do they good? Are they all breathing in? Yeah, right, big shout out to Andy, to Dave, and to Gary. Gary's a big West Ham fan, but he does go and watch uh, Chatham Town. And that's Gary's missus in the background doing this. Going, I don't want to be on photograph, Webby. But a big shout out to you. I'm going to see you all later on. So there, your your name and your obviously your picture is in lights. Absolutely superb. So good luck to Chatham Town and all the season ticket older boys there. Right, horse racing. Let's get a bit of horse racing on. Get Ash on, and if you do his tips for me, um, Tim, while well, I sh scratch me nose, got it on me nose. Okay, so I'm putting it up on the screen so everybody can see it. How long will it be? Yeah. Hey. How long? Are we off camera now? No. Are we off camera? No, we're still on camera. So don't talk. I'm just going to scratch my nose. <laughs> it's three thirty, and they can't hear me. Three thirty, Cheltenham. Oh, easy. Who? K-A-R-G-E-S-E, Cargeezy. Cargeezy, this is from Ash in uh, Newmarket. Cargeezy, 330 at Chartham. 1410. Favois. Favois. B-O-I-R. Yeah. 1450. Oh, another one. Captain Teague. Captain Teague. That's Captain T. Yeah. Uh, 1530. Yeah. You've got to say it. Half past three, 330. Fast or slow. Fast one. Fast or slow? Fast or slow. I've got one as well for now. 16.10. Yeah, 14. Well, he's give you one for every race, does he? 16.59. Allegory de Vassi. 16.50. Be 5.10, that would be probably. Ale de Grassi. What? Uh, Allegory de Vassi. Okay. Allegory de Vassi. And NAP. Uh, 6.17.30, better days ahead. Better days ahead for the 5.30 at Challenge today. Right. My fancy that I've just got now, just come on the phone. This is from a guy who is um, he's a northern jockey. Top, top northern jockey. We'll name nameless. This is his fancy. He gave us a winner on Tuesday. Uh, he gave us two winners out of three yesterday. And this is his fancy for tomorrow. For today, 
brave man's game. Each way will go close, apparently. In the Gold Cup. Is that in the Gold Cup? I think it is. Should we have a look? Right, let's have a look. Brave man game. Let's have a look, shall we? Let's go through. Let's go bet 365. So, if there are any comments or anybody on while, while I'm talking, while I'm looking at this, uh, Timothy, please. So, the other chap's gone, gone with faster floor. So, he's gone against Gullivan and the Shamler. Right, let's have a look, Kev. Well. There's a brave man game. If anybody's on there, does it quick quicker than I do? Oh, Nichols are, isn't it? Let's have a look. I'll show you that the home game. Brave man's game each way, says Edinburgh, honestly. I yeah. Oh, here, here we go. Twenty-two. Oh, it was a Cobden Nichols. Twenty-two to one. It was sixteen. Twenty-two to one uh, in the big race here. In the big race, each way. So try and get as many places as you probably can. Um, yeah, bet three six five is four places, a fifth of the odds. So Brave Man game, Cobden and Nichols. Love Harry Cobden. Absolute great, great Nichols jockey. Yesterday. Hey. Nichols, Nichols and him did well yesterday. And a good day yesterday, didn't it? Yeah. Did you watch the racing yesterday? I watched some of it. Yeah. I watched some of it. Um, it was a bit of a better day for the... Uh, Talk a bit louder, please. Better day for the Brits yesterday. Well, we started the day, was it 11... 10-3 and it ended up 11-8. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're only three behind now. Yeah, well, the main thing, you had Harry Skelton. Skelton, they they won three of the last... They four now. Yeah, they were... Yeah, it's fantastic. phenomenal. Yeah. What he does as a jockey is phenomenal. I just think... What? Skelton, the jockey. He always, brilliant. Brilliant. He a smile on his face brilliant. all the time. Brilliant. And he always never takes any credit himself. No, it's no. It's all about his brother yeah. and all the staff. And yeah, yeah. He, he, he can't say enough about the people who were riding the horses. Yeah, yeah, job. for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really nice. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Nothing's about him. Just going to talk about the prices very, very quickly on Cheltenham Racing. Tata stores for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday was between 22 and 45 pounds to get in of the low event. But obviously when you're up on the top, you could be paying anything from 100 to 200. Um, if you went into the bars, a bottle of Moe was 110 pound a bottle. If you had a Guinness, a lager or cider, they were charging nine pounds 70. How much was no, that? sorry, hang on, hang on. They were charging seven pound 50, sorry. And house wine, was £9.70. Now, the point of the question is, there was people moaning. Now, I used to live in Cheltenham before I came. I used to go to every meeting in one of you. Now, when you look, when you, you're going to the biggest meeting in the world, the best four days of racing, you meet every Tom, Dick and Harry, of course they're going to charge you high money. Stop bloody moaning. That's all we got is moaners and moaners. If you don't like it, don't go. It's as simple as that. You know, the taxis are expensive. If you don't like a taxi, walk to your pub. Okay, £7.50 for a Guinness lager. I think that's good, personally, and I would have paid it. And if you don't like it, if you have four, then just have three. So stop moaning and get on with your life. Well, that's all you moaners. They didn't sell all the tickets this year, did they? <laughs> no, I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying, but there's reasons for that. And the trouble is they say there's no money. Right, no money. Listen. There was a guy who had a 50p each way, Acker, and he won £40,000 on Tuesday. So good luck to you, big man. And a good friend of mine yesterday, who I know, who were named Nameless, um, who I'll be seeing this afternoon, one of my five, he won uh, he won 14 grand yesterday. He's a big gambler, and he's coming in, he's coming into the offing grapes today. So whether we'll take his bets, I don't know. But when you when you're betting the Canaries, it's a maximum payout of three grand. Oh, right. So that's it. But don't forget, we're not a William Mills. We're, we're not a Bet365 where they can pay out thousands. You have the people coming into you, but, and you can't afford to start paying it. So you know that. It says on the sheet, three the, grand maximum payout. When I was watching on the TV and they showed some of the bets that people were putting on. Yeah. £50,000 to win £68,000. Yeah. For some of them are odds on shots yeah. that were winning in the first. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just people watching. Yeah, yeah. I mean. Right, do yourself a favour, just for two seconds. Right, listen, boys and girls. Gentleman on my left hand side, your right hand side, he had a bet on Wednesday and he said, Webby, I think it's one. Give it a ticket. All right. And he says, When I see you on Friday, give me the money. This is what I'm going to do. And I don't want any change off him. All right. It was 18 euros 70. So I'm going to show to people this is what he won. And that's a kiss from Webby from you, Kevin. Cheers, Webby. Hello, big man. Well deserved. Always good to take money off you. Yeah. <laughs>
Oh, I knew he was going to say that, you fucking hate. It was just as well I left the pub. Three out of four winners. I thought, I told the boys, I says, we need to leave. Webby's going to have no money left. Oh, do be, Abe. Listen, listen. <laughs> I didn't have no money left. You got that off Dawn this morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's that, me. That's it. I have no money. So Let me tell you something. These, I've got no clue about horse racing. These whatsoever. boys on the left outside, that's the one that took us apart. But they were gambling on Hexham and Chelmsford in between. Oh, they were having, as you know, 500, 1,000. Uh, and you got you got this big gun. I'm not going to mention a big guy from Wales, uh, from Merthyr Tidville. I won't, I won't say his name. He's in every day and he's in again tomorrow. He's up to the, He's absolutely, he's love. He's larger in life. Big builder, tarmacker and what have you. And his bets, I think we took, he, he won't be watching this anyway. We took seven grand off him late to, yesterday, I think. But he was up about nine, I think, the day before. So, uh, wow. yeah. But yeah, he, he, was, he was a grand two. He had two and a half grand off the last couple of horses. But then, what Mark did, he said, right, listen, I'll let you go to four grand for that one. So, you know, we give, give a bit of leeway. But that's what it is, Chatham Race, isn't it? It's a bit of fun. So if you want to pop down and see me this afternoon, hopping grapes in Portugal on. If you say galloping the champ is the favourite for the Gold Cup at 3.30. Well, it's 10 to 11. It's, it's odds on, isn't it? It's, odds, it's 10 to 11 now. It's the big, big favourite. So. It's 10.30. What, 100 to Bertie? 100 to Bertie? No, it's 10.30 a.m. What is it? Oh, it's 10.30, is it? Oh, right, right, five minutes and we got to go. All right. Um, right, let, let me just go through everything, make sure I've done it all. Uh, Kevin, bit of footy. Villa beat Ajax last night, 4 0. They're in the quarterfinals of the Europa Cup. You watched the game, oh, yeah? Very good, yeah. Good. Can I just say something about the, um, yeah. the England squad we yeah. picked yesterday? Yes, okay. And I'm just staggered. Very quickly, the only reason I'm staggered saying. Staggered that Henderson oh, got picked. Yeah, and I am. Staggered that Solanke wasn't given a chance. Yeah. And I think Barkley should have been looked at for these two friendlies because he's been exceptional for Luton. For Luton. He, has, he has been exceptional. That's all I want but to I think he's, what he's looking at is probably is probably further on, isn't it? I know what you mean. Um, but I'm going to do a, we'll do a vlog next week with yeah. the boys. Terry 2 is signed on my number three. We'll do an England squad and a football. I'll be back on the Scots Corner next week as well. Sorry I haven't done it this week, boys, only because I've been so busy in the offing grapes and being a bookie and so forth. Um, let me just see. Uh, so if you haven't subscribed to my channel, Webby Sports Roundup, please, and make the comments down below, as you know. And don't forget, Facebook page with my number 99, Foggy. He's the main man. He really is with Tim. I'm just I'm just a backstreet boy that just gives you a load of load of nonsense on the on the on the camera. And if Tenerife Tez laughs again, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna chuck a bunch of water over him or something. I'll tell you. He's doing me head if he left that side. Um you so I think, put you off, man. I think he should have nah nobody can put me off, that's for sure. So we're gonna wrap this up now. Kevin, yeah, big man. Lovely. Thank you, big man. Right. Um uh, and I just want to thank my big guest, proper proper geezer. Kevin, can I, is there anybody you want to say you, hello? Nice to meet you, Kevin. If you're not subscribed to Kevin the Scotsman, he's everywhere and anywhere. Grand Canaria, Foot of Ventura, Lanzarote, but he always ends up in Tenerife. It's the number one place on the planet. Is that right or wrong? That's right, baby. That's Benidorm right. is not far off. Yeah, I'll be going there soon. Benidorm, yeah. Yeah, you'll be going to Benidorm soon. Yeah. Anybody you want to say hello to? Yeah, just any of the viewers who have come across, make sure you subscribe to Webby's sports channel. Um, he's quite a lot of different videos as well. He's doing the roundup with all the guys like Kevin as well. Um, it's good to have a chat with guys who are right into their sports as well. And uh, pop in and see him at Hopping Grapes if you're in Tenerife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's, it's just great having it. It's something different, isn't it? Because it, it's, it's not you, you're not just a, a vlogger that does the restaurants and the bars. You love your sport. You support your Liverpool. Uh, and you support your a little bit of all shaking. You love your golf and whatever. But before we go, the golf, um, I've got Alan Homemade Vlogs. He's going to be my Roman reporter uh, at the Open this year, uh, which is in July. Yeah, yeah. Is it true? Is it true? That, that's true. It is it true, isn't it? That's Alan lives. He's oh, that's, oh, that's almost on the golf he course. He's on the golf course. So he's going to be, he's the logistics manager there. So he's going to be my roving reporter there. And we're going to get some interviews, some videos and what have you. And that'll be fantastic. Yeah, that'll uh, be really Wouldn't it? So I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. Um, next week, Scott's Corner again. We're going to have, we'll do a live the next week or two. Next Friday morning, a live again, as we do. And we'll see who's about and wants to come on the show. If you're still here, you might get you on again. If nobody wants to come on with me. Well, I'm only here for another 11 days. Days, Another 11 days, so it's the last chance then. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Can you cheer? No, I, I, I won't promise you. I'll so, what I'm going to say is from all, all my viewers, old, new, and present, what I haven't forgotten about Tenerife Tez. All right, don't you worry about that. He's been a, he didn't expect to come on Tenerife Tez, and I've got him, I've got him on the show already. He can't believe he's going to go back home. Tell everybody now, I've been on Webby's show in Tenerife. <laughs> and the biggest thank you 
is the man himself. Yeah. Ter um, Terry, isn't it? Tim. No, it's Tim. I oh, know. Tim, living with MS in Tenerife and Christine. She's got me biscuits again. What he does for Christine and for me and his logistics is nobody's business. So what I'm going to say is subscribe, free, comment, do what you got to do. Do a tick, do a like, and I'll see you soon. Hopping great this afternoon from Webby Sports Roundup, over and out, sunny Tenerife, in my manner, fashion.